Hello, welcome to Engineers Mindset. Today I'm going to take us through trust analysis. What is a trust? A trust is simply a structural member that carries axial loads at each joint, forming a triangle or series of triangles. For instance, let's say we have something like this. Okay, this is a good example of what a cross looks like. Okay, let's call here points A, points B, and point C. Alright, so each point of the cross system are called joints. So this point A is called a joint, this is joint B, and this is joint C. And this cross is carried by axial loads. The load carried by a cross system is either in compression or in tension. The load carried by a member of the trust system is either in compression or tension, and these loads are equal and opposite in direction. For instance, if I consider joint B to joint C, this is a trust member from B to C, the trust member. The load carried by this member will either be in tension or compression, and this load is equal in magnitude but different in direction, opposite direction. So let's say from B to C, now we have a compressive load. The load is said to be compressive when it is acting inwards to the joint. Now, this force is the same thing as the force entering into this other joint. Okay, so we can call this force the force at joint B relative towards joint C. Meanwhile, we can call this force the force at joint C relative to joint B. But these two forces, FBC, is the same thing as FC. The two forces are the same. So each member of the cross system carries two equal but opposite in direction forces. The force carried are the same but the direction is different. So as you can see, this force is moving towards your B and this force is also moving towards your C. But this is a member of the cross B to C. Therefore, the force carried are what is the same but they are in opposite direction. Let's also consider member B to member A. Now let's see this time around, the force is in tension. If it's in tension, it means the force is pulling out of the joint. So in tension, this force is pulling out of the joint. So it also means that this other member too, this other joint also has a tensile force. So the force was also pulled out of the joint. You have this. So you can see that these two forces are moving towards opposite direction. But the force at this point is simply called the force at joint B relative to point A, which is this force here. Meanwhile, the force at joint A is simply for force at joint A relative to joint B. But these two forces are what? The same. Since they are what? Um, equal in magnitude. So the two forces are the same. So I said every member of the cross system carries two equal but opposite forces. Alright, so FBA is equal to FAD. The two forces are equal in magnitude but they are different in direction. Same thing applies to member AC. Considering member AC, let's say we have the force of pulling in was this saying that this force is compressive. So this is called the force at joint A, or this is joint A, relative towards member C or joint C. That means the force coming to joint C is also going to be what's compressive. It has to be compressive, so it must always act towards the joint. So we must always have this, and this is the force at joint C relative towards joint A. But these two forces, FAC, is equal to FC A. Okay, so that's how trust system works. Each member of every trust system carries two equal but opposite forces. And I also said that each point of the trust system are called joints. This is joint A, this is joint C, and this is joint B. Okay, now there are two basic methods of solving or analyzing trust systems. There are two basic methods of analyzing trust systems. The first method is what is called the joint method. In the joint method, each of the joints of the trust system is being picked out. They are considered or isolated. We pick out each of the joints and then apply the equilibrium equation to what analyze them. Okay, the next method of analysis is called the section method. In the, in the section method, some members of the trust system are actually sectioned out or cut out and then equilibrium equation is being carried out. Now, when sectioning, you section in such a way that at least three members of the trust system must be involved in the section. That's how you section. All right, guys, so I will see you in the next video with questions on trust analysis. Please do stay tuned to the channel. And of course, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more content on this. In the next video, we will start analysis on trust systems. Thanks, guys, and cheers.